All right, good morning, young Groms. It is a cold October day here in New York. So the last time I surfed was with Yuri. It was on October 1st. It is now October 14th, so I haven't surfed in two weeks, and I've been resting my shoulder. I figure it is either a um, shoulder, uh, like a shoulder impingement, such as a supraspinatus muscle impingement, or a rotator cuff tear. And I've been doing all these stretches and physical therapy. The stretches are for the impingement and the PT is for the tear. The stretches actually have been making it feel a lot better. So I'm stoked on that. And yeah, I'm gonna see how it feels today. Today will be my 17th day in a row. And most of those have been 12 hour shifts besides like two conference days. Today I'm doing a uh, resuscitation slash critical care shift uh, from 1 p.m. to 11 p.m. Just got done with a little 1.6 mile paddle. Yeah, if I do go surf this spot, I'm gonna need to have like insane paddle strength. But I've also switched up my paddle form to be shoulder blades back, short strokes, and I'm hoping that like keeps my shoulder blade feeling better. Felt great that whole time, didn't really have any pain. Uh, even took off on a few waves, um, right? Now, but I took it super easy. I took a bunch of breaks along the way and just sat on the beach, stretched. And now I'm gonna go catch one wave for you guys on this phone. Um, and uh, I might go being the ghost. I might be going to go surf literally the scariest wave in the world, which is so sad because I just almost had a heart attack when a little striped bass fin like jumped up over my the nose of my board. Shoulder actually feels better than my like good one. My left, my right shoulder, which has been bothering me, feels better than the left because I think both of my shoulders there's just a lot of impingement going on from like constant overhead movement and like. I've been stretching this one so much, and I think the stretching is actually better than the strengthening. I found these few exercises, and I've just been lightly stretching it for like the past three or four days. And now this one's like, it's not giving me any problems, but like my left shoulder, which was fine, is now like feeling worse because I just need to stretch. So I think I just need to like find new stretches for my shoulders, and I'm so happy because I'm so glad it, it like I'm not out of the woods just yet, but. I feel like it's less likely that it's a rotator cuff tear, so I'm feeling really good right now. Super excited to say that today is my first day off in 18 days. I'm so stoked. I worked 17 days in a row at Numic. Um, and even before that, I was like getting my ERAS application in, but it feels weird not going there. Like my bo body is just like programmed to go to the emergency room and just start seeing patients. So I'm stoked right now. We're meeting up with Danny West and we're gonna go catch some waves. Man, it's like so cold on the inside. All right guys, it's actually kind of pumping. Um, yeah, Danny's here, he's riding the black sheep. I think I'm gonna take out the sawed off neck beard. Like we'll see if this is gonna be a true test if my shoulder's healthy or not. But yeah, I'm stoked. The waves look absolutely epic. Out of nowhere, too, like non forecast, no name storm. Oh, smooth guy over here. Yeah. <laughs> Let me just make sure this is locked. One out for a day, Alito. I gotta warm up my shoulder, dude. I'll see you out there. All right, this neck beard is the double neck beard, is what I'm calling it. I'm <laughs> super stoked. Let's see if my glass job holds up. It's so bad. I just really hope it doesn't like go through and cut me.
The uh, stringer on the neck beard is just super uncomfortable. It's like right in the crotch. Not comfortable, not fun to paddle on. So I think I'm gonna switch over to either the mid-length or uh, the uh, Mini Simmons. Definitely have some serious board envy right now. I just saw some guys with like a brand new surfboard in the parking lot. And I'm looking at like even Dan's board, which he's like taking really good care of. And I'm like, wow, it'd be sick to have one of those. But um, hopefully soon we'll get some new equipment. Uh, but for right now, we're just stoked. <laughs> You're gassed. You're walking up that sand. 40 waves. Yeah, that was fun. The wave count was high. Pretty epic session right now, but as you guys know, I've been making some moves, potentially hopping on a plane, so I gotta go pick up my uh, Black Beauty from Nature Shapes right now. We're stoked. The green board's not done yet, but the uh, 7 0 Black Beauty, the tail saver actually ripped through the back. Not the leash stringer, but the, the rail saver ripped through. Yo, what's up, Playa? Back. What do we got here? How are you? I'm good. good to see you. What's Service up, brother? Up. This is beautiful. So smooth. Can't tell any difference. If I was a blind man, I wouldn't even know it was repaired. Where'd that cat go? All right, boys. We just got out. We got the Nature Shapes cat right here. Um, I'm stoked on this thing. Beautiful glass job here by the boys at Nature Shapes. Uh, thanks, Brian. Thanks, Mike. Thanks, Edgar. We're so stoked right now. Um, it always feels lighter when I get them back. Like, weirdly enough, feels less waterlogged and yeah, it just feels good to have a watertight board. 